Many devices in the GNS3 marketplace require VNC to access the console of the device. So rather than using PuTTY or the terminal application in a Mac, VNC is used to access the console of the individual routers and switches. You can have problems using the built-in options on a Mac. So under GNS3 Preferences, you can change the application used for VNC connections. You can use the OSX built-in screen sharing, but it doesn't work very well. The recommendation is to use Chicken of the VNC. You can download the software from sourceforge.net. So I'm gonna download the Chicken of the VNC DMG file. That file is now downloaded to my Mac. So here it is. I'm going to right click and click open. And then I'm going to drag the application to my applications folder. So it's now installed. And once again, in GNS3, you go to GNS3 Preferences. Under General, VNC, click Edit, and select Chicken of the VNC, and click OK, and OK again. Your Mac is now using Chicken of the VNC for VNC connections to devices such as the HP VSR. I'll demonstrate the downloading and configuration of the HP VSR in a separate video. So just be aware, this is the recommended way to access VNC on a Mac. Other options include Royal TSX. I personally use this application and find it very useful on my Mac to access SSH, VNC, and RDP sessions. So if you want to purchase Royal TSX, you could use that. Otherwise, use the free Chicken of the VNC application for your VNC connections in GNS3. This was a very short video, but hopefully solves a problem that some of you are encountering. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.